how I always introduce new customers to Mad Charcoal is I tell them we are doing European Western cuisine using charcoal. My name is Kelvin, Kelvin Low, and I'm the creator of Mad Charcoal. I've been in the FBMB industry for the past 20 years. Mad Charcoal is situated at uh, Amokyo Street 62 and we are the only coffee shop here. Right here at Mad Charcoal, we actually do use three kinds of food and charcoal. So I mean, we have the uh, compressed charcoal, then the other one is the traditional charcoal that everyone has used before, and the third one is actually Aichi wood. It's uh, one of the more affordable woods that we can get uh, locally in Singapore. The idea and kind of cooking Mad Charcoal is actually doing is very simple. It's actually based on more of what I've experienced and what I've liked. I first started out working part-time in, in a restaurant when I was a, still a teenager. When Mad Charcoal started, every day I would always be looking on things and ideas and, and, and different food cultures. The initial part of uh, Mad Charcoal, we actually came out with a very basic menu, just meat on marinated and charcoal grill. For the new menu, I've actually smoked all my meat. We are not just bound by basic products. Like. Once a while, when, when, when I see good things, I will also want to get them and put them on the special. A dish is popular is only when the customers accept it and, and keep ordering it. Our beef brisket, our lamb ribs, our beef chick and our grilled chicken. And I came across videos of uh, people in Texas. They do their Texas smoked beef brisket. So I just wanted to learn and try to use my own uh, technique to try to get something very similar. The second dish that I find that is uh, very popular is either you hate or you love lamb. I get to try these lamb ribs actually at a restaurant. I pull out the uh, lamb ribs bone out of the meat, just like you know, like we find how how we find it in a cartoon. But I just want the same effect. That's why I, I think lamb ribs is a good choice for barbecue. When we, when we do barbecue, we cannot have meat that's totally lean. Some customers might deem it uh, dry because of the intensity of the heat. So I always try to choose parts that are semi, semi lean, they have connective tissues, they have fats. Something new that was, is, uh, is on the menu now is the, actually the beef chick. A beef chick is very rubbery when uncooked. So all this connective tissue needs to be broken down. Our beef chick is actually uh, sous vide for about 12 hours. During this process of the 12 hours, what is actually happening is we are cooking the beef chick actually on uh, base temperature needed to cook and break down the connective tissue. So what's good about this sous vide cooking is that after that when everything is cooked, you actually, when during the cooling process, the meat actually do retract back some of the moisture and juices that it has produced inside the bag. The one thing to improve is a very important factor in the F&B industry or, or, or whatever that you are starting up. Our next project in uh, Mad Charcoal is actually to do some urban farming. One of the things is uh, we grow the microgreens, the mustard seed microgreens, and it's very mustardy. And what I actually do is I actually blend it with olive oil to make it like a paste. In terms of taste, it doesn't lose to a, a, I mean a bottle of mustard. No, we do our own mustard kind of thing. And uh, because we have been, it's been one year, it's been one year and I really, I'm really grateful for all the customers that have really come, support us, try our new things. And whenever something new come out, they are really willing to try. So I'm really thankful that, that, that they are, I have so many supportive customers. And the customers are really the heart of Pet Chaco. Thank you.